Oh my God, y'all. I'm preparing for this video. Then I realized it's damn near three o'clock in the morning. Oh my God. <laughs> and I have to work tomorrow. But yeah, I just, you know, had to get my sense together. So I am here. Mommy, run the streets at night and I can't sleep. I'm saying my bitch runs the street at night, and I can't sleep. I can't sleep. <laughs> Yo, it's your girl T Chanel. Welcome to my channel, boo. Mwah. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. So yes, I am here. This is called fill my basket. Here's my beautiful basket. You see it. <laughs> It's the top of a basket uh, from Pier 1 Import. Pier 1 Import. Pier 1 Imports. <laughs> yes, so we are here and we're going to fill my basket. I change this basket like every three to four weeks. Yeah, with scents that I want to wear, depending on how I'm feeling, the season, things like that. So I just wanted to take you guys through with me on my selections and what I have going on from for January really so here first want to start with this okay so besides my combinations that I have from Victoria's Secret and Bath and Body Works I have to have a moisturizer something that has a little to no scent that moisturizes my skin so first starting with Nivea essentially it rich this is 48 hour deep nourishing serum tried and true this right here makes you look like you have a glow from within it is such a nice product I highly recommend that so I do use that along with my combination or this body oil gel from Equate this is the cocoa butter one they do have different kinds this is a really, really nice body oil. Um, you know, it doesn't leave you like sticky or anything. It is great. If you have not tried it, I highly recommend it as well. And then finally, Fenty Skin. This is Butter Drop. If you do not know about Butter Butter Drop, you need to know. As you can see, I got the small size um, during the um, Sephora. I think it was the VIP sale. I picked it up. And it is so nice on the skin. Get, get, like It's literally like it melts into your skin um, as an oil. So yes, yeah, so one of these three I do choose along with my combinations each and every day because I have to have that moisture factor. Also, it helps to carry your fragrance. If you feel like, oh my God, why is my fragrance not staying on me all day? Number one, first and foremost, scrub your skin, okay? Have exfoliating gloves, have a, um, you know, a loofah, like you need to scrub at least two to three times a week. On top of that, have something moisturizing. Like don't just use your, um, your, um, scented lotion. Like if you incorporate these things along with your scented lotion, it will definitely help you carry your fragrance. So yes, those three definitely I'm not going to put it in the basket like the other ones because I just have them on the side and I choose the one I want to use for the day. All right. So starting Ruby Rose from Victoria's Secret. This released a couple of months ago. Notes, sparkling raspberry velvet rose and dip decadence. Um, Ruby Rose. This is such a nice smell. Like, And I don't hear a lot of people talking about it, but it is a raspberry champagne smell i love this smell it has so much longevity like and and it's funny i'm not hearing no one talk about it but out of all these body mists that i have like this is one of the strongest like sol de janeiro for me lasts eight hours on my skin this right here ruby rose lasts eight to ten hours twelve hours if, you know, I'm using that and mixing in and putting on a perfume, like, it could last 12 to 15 hours. Like, it lasts so long. This is one of the strongest body mists I have ever tried. And I really do enjoy it. So, that is going into the basket. I want to have a sweet champagne option this month. So, there you go. All right, next, love. This was last year's 
Bath and Body Works like Sweet Smell for the winter. Let's take a look at the notes. Bubbly Rosé, Sweet Strawberry, Pink Sugar. This is a very nice sweet smell. I have... I'm just smelling it. It smells so good. I have the body mist, the body lotion, and the body wash. If you look at the body wash, like, it's literally almost... Can you see where it is? It's almost gone. Yeah, and I do have backups because I love this smell so, so much. So this is going into my basket for that sweet factor on top of that. So this blush cardigan, this is this year's. I feel like last year, it was love was giving us the sweetness from Bath and Body Works for the winter. This year, it's all about blush cardigan, giving the sweet factor from Bath and Body Works. The notes... Sweet raspberries, sugar dipped violet, and warm amber. They smell completely different. Love, strawberry, giving strawberry and rose. This is giving the ra the raspberries and the amber. The violet is there as well for balance, but you know, they're completely different. So that's why I have them both in my basket. I am looking forward to having them before i put blush cardigan i do want to talk about warm and cozy this is from victoria's secret pink let's look at the notes here soft vanilla toasted coconut passion fruit let me tell you and coconut like it can be wearable during the winter i am in extra sunny south florida right now it is you know in the high 70s low 80s it is hot okay so all these scents go, but I think even if you're in the colder weather, like warm and cozy, I think the note speaks for it. I mean, the name, sorry, speaks for itself. Like it could be used during the winter time, blush cardigan as well. So yes, these two I've actually been mixing and I'm going to have a layer video because mixing these two with a certain Tiziana Terenzi perfume is like, is mind blowing. And I've gotten so many compliments on it. I got a compliment today. I was wearing it. I was wearing both of these and that perfume. And it's just chef's kiss. So, yes, we will be getting into it, honey. Okay? But for now, let's put our warm and cozy. Let's put our blush cardigan and fill up our basket. Yes? So we have the sweet smells going on. We have a champagne smell. Let's keep going. Prismatic Stars, Bath and Body Works. Let's look at the notes of this. You Can you see where I'm going with my, my basket this month? Raspberry Stardust, Mystic Plum, Cosmic Cashmere. So here, the raspberry is sweet, just like how it is in Blush Cardigan. However, the cashmere. Cashmere is a scent that goes well for winter. It not only gives, you know, your scent uh, balance, but it gives it like a maturity. Like anything with cashmere, I feel like <laughs> it gives you a little bit of maturity, right? It's not as no, not as sweet, you know, as the blush cardigan is. It has, you know, a little bit more of that refinement there with the, with the cashmere. So I'm looking forward to using it. I have not used this yet. And, um... I'm definitely going to be mixing that and seeing how that goes. Next, let me scoot these over a little bit. We have our berry vanilla scent. Whipped berry meringue and cotton candy clouds. I have the mist and I have the shower gel. I do not have a lotion of either. However, I don't need the lotion. What I do is I use the spray. Let's say I have, I use the Nivea Essentially Enriched. I literally, you know, fill my hand with the lotion that I need and spray four to five pumps and <laughs> I made my own lotion. Yeah. So here, let's look at the notes. Whipped berry meringue, fresh berries, whipped sugar, fluffy vanilla, and then cotton candy clouds. Look, sponge sugar, pink berries, whipped vanilla. Do you see the differences? <laughs> it's barely a difference between the two in the notes. However, when you smell the two... The whipped berry meringue, I feel like it's more perfumey. While cotton candy clouds, it's that cotton candy is coming through. There's no cotton candy in here. So they, they are very similar, but there's a slight difference. And for me and my nose, I love the whipped berry meringue a little bit better. So 
So yeah, I um, am mixing these this month in my basket and looking forward to using those. Okay, next, Pastel Skies. This berry with coconuts. And this can actually also go with that warm and cozy. I'm going to try that since this has the coconut in it. Let's look at the notes together. It's hard, kind of hard to see. There it is. Soft cloud berries, pink, pink sponge sugar, coconut musk. <laughs> Do you see how similar these things are? But it's on purpose. So, yes, this is a sweet coconut berry smell very very nice this came out with cloud nine about what four three four months ago when it came out i know a lot of people jumped on cloud nine versus pasta skies but for me this was a hit like literally i <laughs> have another set of this that i've basically gone through so i am starting to use this the shower gel i went through i think at least i know i went through one probably two during the time the mist as well so yeah looking forward to using that again because i haven't used it in a few months next here's our blackberry vanilla mix twinkly midnight sky let's look at the notes the notes on this midnight flower sparkling vanilla ice blackberry versus black raspberry vanilla shower gel because i do not have the shower gel of twinkling midnight sky fresh raspberries vine ripened black berries okay so see they're sharing that vanilla orchid they're sharing vanilla and then creamy sandalwood these are a great combination together i'm gonna find a perfume in my collection to layer with it as well so I'm looking forward to it because I bought this last year and I really did not use it. I think maybe once I used it. So I want to get some use out of it this year for sure. Yeah. So that is going in to fill my basket. We getting there. We are getting there. Let's move this over a little bit. Okay, cool. <laughs> Next, Cherry Elixir. Don't forget about your girl. She came out last year. Victoria's Secret Cherry Elixir. Let's look at the notes. So, you know, the third note. Let's see what they have. Black Cherry Liquid Amber. Look at the third note. Quiet Mystery. What kind of note is Quiet Mystery? I don't know. But this scent is not quiet. This is a loud cherry to me. It's a sweet cherry. It For me, it has like a little bit of an almond effect to it. It's sweet, alluring. Very, very nice. The lotion is almost done. Um, the mist, I do have uh, most of it. So I'm going to tackle this and wear this. I have Degree uh, Cherry Body Wash. I also have uh, Lactity Rouge. And I, I know this is going to be a hitter. So I am looking forward to wearing that. Put that in our basket. Oh, we're almost full. Okay, Hope white peach marshmallow let's look at the notes of hope here we have velvet peach vanilla meringue creamy jasmine let me tell you last year i purchased this from bath and body works once again this was a winter set that came out the hope came out the love i think also it was joy which is like a snickerdoodle scent love i fell in love with <laughs> hope I was hoping, <laughs> I was hoping to fall in love with, but this was 75% off. And so I purchased it. Yeah. Now this year I purchased, um, Michonne's hundred silent ways that has a peach note, vanilla. It pairs so well with this. And I just want to start wearing my Michonne hundred silent ways more. So that's why I have this um, in my basket for the month. I'm looking forward to it. I even have the moisturizing body wash, which is really nice. So we are going to put this in the basket and look. We're almost full, y'all. We are almost full. But we're going to start turning these things over because then it'll give me more space. I like to keep them grouped together by smell. So let me just rearrange some things real quick. Okay, cool. Just like that, we have more room. All right, next. 
here cheers again victoria's secret this is, has dahlia yes this is uh frosted juniper what does that say pink dahlia spirit of the holiday very good scent this is champagne -y as well the dahlia you know it is very nice dahlia uh carolina herrera has a lot of dahlia in her scents yes that she has um and i don't have any of her scents um there's one i think the red one that i kind of like the new one and i'm thinking about it but i haven't purchased it yet but cheers again is a very nice scent I am thinking about, what is it called? Celebration? I'll have to look it up from Victoria's Secret. But I do have a perfume and I think it'll go good with that. Look at this. Into the Night. The whole set. Moisturizing body wash. The glowing body scrub. The body cream. And then the mist. If you don't know, now you know. This is one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. Let's look at the notes. Raspberry Noir, Amber Crystals, Velvety Rose Petals, Creamy Patchouli, Mocha Musk. Seductive, alluring, inviting into the night. Okay? Into the night. Arabian day. What? 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 They need to have, you know what I was thinking about that? And I'm like, should I say this? Yes, I'm going to say it. And remember, T. Chanel said it, okay? They Into the night they have. They should have into the day, into the dawn, into the night, okay? Into the night, stay it as, as is. It's a, like I said, sweet, seductive, alluring scent. Actually, it does. It's very reminiscent of black opium. I don't have black opium at this time. I wore it out, you know, when I my teenage years. So, so yeah, I am um, mixing it with something else that I'll put in my combination video. But, like, wouldn't it be so nice for them to have, like, into the day for that to be, you know, have maybe some of these notes that are here. Maybe let's keep the... um. Let's keep the rose petals. Let's keep the patchouli. Let's keep the musk, but maybe something else to put in more during the daytime. Maybe add, um, you know, a citrus um, note to it. If you're not going to do citrus, then maybe um, peach or pear or something like that to bring it up for the daytime. And then you have into the dawn. Into the dawn is like a transition between your day and night right so yeah i would really really love that am i getting it right is it day dawn or am i thinking dusk into the dusk dawn is the morning oh my god <laughs> into the day into the dusk i don't know you get the you get what i'm saying girl put these damn things in the um <laughs> let's fill up the basket okay the night is young and I'm getting restless. <laughs> somebody. You get what I'm saying, all right? Like having the three morning, noon, and night. Yeah. All right, cool. So next, Rose. Now, this I have. So we're getting into our mixers now. So we have the perfume. Not the perfume, but we have our body mist. We have our shower gels. We have the different groupings with the lotion. We have it here, the different categories, right? The sweet, the um, more deeper smells, and, uh, you know, the ones with raspberry and cashmere, the whipped beer. Like, we have our different categories, right? However, rose can mix. Like, for example, if I want to mix rose with Into the Night, I can do that. If I want to mix rose with Ruby Rose, I can do that. If I just want to wear rose by itself... And do a perfume like Perfume Nisa Avenue from uh, Bond Number no. Nine uh, or um, Delina, things like that, right? I can mix these. So that's why I have Rose. Notes on Rose Airy Rose Water, Jasmine Petals, Creamy Musk. This is a beautiful smell. And I feel like it transcends any season. You could definitely wear Rose. So we gonna fit Rose. Whoops. She gonna get in where she fits in. <laughs> 
into this basket. This basket got a little, a little stretch, okay? All right, next. So these are what I consider my mixers. I've been feeling like I want to smell like Brazilian Crush 62. Uh, salted caramel pistachio, a beautiful, beautiful scent. This once again, it's like a, it could go anytime. Signature scent, 62. Very nice. I wanted to have that in there. Side note, I'm not a fan of the bum bum cream. What? 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 And I know that it has a great smell and I tried it, but I feel like it dries out my skin. Like, I rather, boom, do this. I rather put this on my body, the Equate, um, you know, body oil gel, and then spray myself with this. Like, I feel like that's a better combination than the Bum Bum Cream and the spray, just because it dried out my skin. Like, I know that might sound weird for some of you, but I got to keep it real. That's what it did. It, it, it dried it, dried me out. It needs something to carry it. So, so yeah. 62 i definitely will be wearing then look whipped rose latte notes on whipped rose latte this is one of my favorites and i'm going to show you my dent crushed rose petals cocoa flower whipped foam look at my dent do you see my dent is below the line there like it is below the line of the bottle like the bottle here do you see it i think you can see it there where it's coming up like to right here yeah so nice. I love whipped rose latte. This is Delina Exclusive's little sister. This is what you layer Delina Exclusive with. I don't care what nobody says. This smells like Delina Exclusive. <laughs> so I'm always wearing Delina Exclusive. She transcends through any season. So because of that, whipped rose latte, and that's why she's used so much, is going in the basket. Okay. Besides that, Pink Chiffon, I've had this for a while. I haven't used it, so I, I want to incorporate it somehow, some way. Look at the notes. Sparkling red pear, jasmine petals, tear, flower, vanilla, orchid, chiffon, musk. Musk, vanilla, jasmine, pear. It can go with so many different things, so that's why I have this here. And then last but not least, my shimmers. I have Velvet Petal Shimmer from Victoria's Secret that is an almondy um smell into the night shimmer of course we went over the notes for into the night and then this is a milani glow it does not that's not necessarily shimmer it's more of like a gold glow for your skin it looks so nice like on um you know your chest your shoulders things like that so i do incorporate that like i will go with glitter to the supermarket like i don't care i just <laughs> i love it so yes this is my basket for the month that I have, it's not my a perfume tray. I don't do perfume trays um, because I feel like it kind of restricts me. And I mean, this you could consider a little restrictive, but there's so many options that I have. It's just a way for me to pick out things. I have to think about things in the morning and just go and be like, oh, okay, let me get Ruby Rose this morning or into the night this morning and just take my shower and then pick my perfume from there. So yeah. That is it for the video. Thank you so much for joining. I appreciate you. Virtual hugs. <laughs> yes, and please don't forget that you are beautiful, baby. You are one of a kind. There is nobody like you in this world. And most importantly, you are loved. And if nobody has told you today, I love you, okay? Mwah. Thanks. Peace.